This audio that I'm about to play for you was sent to me, and I want you to listen to this very closely, and then I'm going to explain to you what just happened. Can we do better? There's always things that pop up that we can do better on, um, and I call the question. I'm sorry. That's not how this works. We each have an opportunity to speak five minutes. I believe, I thought we did. Yeah, the question's no, been I'm, called. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. We've been so and that's not how calling the question works. You need a second and you need to vote on it. Then I have a second for uh, calling so the question. So are you telling me that you're going to keep me from talking right now? You've talked all evening. Look, all look evening. here. You're calling me disrespectful because I've interrupted people, but this gentleman has turned off people's lights in the middle of a global health pandemic. That's what that gentleman did. Point of order. And you think I'm disrespectful for interrupting you. Point of order. This gentleman has had the ability to do any number of things. We could have banned large gatherings. We could have closed the beach. We could have put a moratorium on 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 I recessed the meeting. I recessed the meeting. Also not within your power, and the attorney has held that that's true. I recessed the meeting. You came up with new rules at the beginning of the meeting, and then you didn't even want to follow the rules that you came up with. And you took advantage This is a banana republic is what you're turning this place into with your so-called leadership. Does a recess mean that we will be... Yes. Camera on that? I don't, I don't you care anything about, about this. camera on that? I don't care anything about this. Does we should have been talking about this last week. Can we... We cut off people's utilities this week and no. made them pay what could have been their last check to us to turn their lights on in a global health pandemic. So but you don't care about that and you didn't want to meet. One but every other year, you go around and beg people for their votes. Hey. Can we uh, exactly. explain the reason? you care more about your relationship you with that guy than you care about the relationship with the people who don't go to work Boy, in this building. Order. You are done. You are done. You are done. Disrespectful. Disrespectful is what you've done to the working people in the city. I didn't do anything. You failed to act. I didn't do anything. When you're a leader, you failed to act. You said you didn't do anything. You failed to act. Oh, when you had an opportunity. Party for State House. I don't care anything about that. Do you think anybody cares? Does a recess mean that we can reconvene tonight? Yes. Or Okay. Is that in five minutes or? Uh... It's when the chair comes back. Okay, so y'all just heard that bit of audio right there. And it came from this guy that you see in the picture by the name of Omari Hardy. And he is a commissioner for um, the city of Lake Worth Beach in Florida. And basically what's going on at this meeting is they're discussing um, how somebody turned off the utilities for the people in that area in the midst of this crisis that's going on right now. And he is pissed that they were just about to let this slide all for the sake of, you know, politics. Like you can tell by this guy's tone that he is for the people like he was mad. And the person he was going at it with, I believe her name is Pam Triolo or something like that. It was another woman that was sitting next to him. And when he was getting in her ass and he was going, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post the link so you can actually see the exchange in real time like so you can see the video because when he got up and she got up and like you can tell she he was getting at her because she couldn't really come back at him she did the typical you know what i'm gonna grab my stuff gather my things and i'm gonna walk on out and he got up and looked like he was gonna follow right behind her but still like getting at her and everything like that and this is what you call the assertion or the a, a black man asserting his authority in the proper way to the proper channels and how People like the one he was going at couldn't do it didn't do anything. You can tell that she was probably upset that the other men there because it was he was the only black man on the panel. The others were palm color and the woman. She was the only female and she was palm color, too. She was probably looking around like, uh, are none of you going to assist me to get this big black brute out of my face and everything like that's If you look at the video, that's the I can tell body language. You, she probably felt she was being attacked by a thousand men, but it was just one guy and he wasn't even attacking her. He was going at the fact that she was being so nonchalant about it. And then even <laughs> and then because he was directing another man that was sitting standing at a podium who was the one who was responsible for turning off the lights. And he called her out again by saying, you're not really doing anything because of the relationship that you have with this man. Now, I don't know what he meant by that as far as a relationship. I'm not sure if it's a, uh, a, a I'm not going to say, you know what I mean, like a 
that kind of relationship or is it a friendship type of relationship or something where he may be donating to a campaign for her to win votes or, you know, something like that. It could be that type of deal. But he basically laid it all out there on the table and pretty much let the people know how disturbing and how disgusting those people are. But you can tell he is for the people. And then when she gathered all her stuff, she was like, you're done. You're done and everything like that. And then she had said some other little snarky remark. I didn't really catch what she said. But he looked back and he says, I don't care about that. See, that's the thing. A lot of palm color people think that if you do, they throw a little light jabs at people's livelihoods or like little subtle threats like that, that we are supposed to be. Oh, my God. You know what? I apologize. I didn't mean to say that this guy came at her neck unapologetically that is how you put your foot down that is how you assert your authority you do it unapologetically and you stand firmly on your square now looking at this i hope that he does not backtrack on this display in which we have just seen because this video was posted on march 20th and i'm recording it on march 21st this was a breath of fresh air for me to hear right here this lets you know this guy literally is for the people. He was mad that they just cut their stuff off. And he said that people were down to their last check to give to the proper channels to keep their utilities on. But they cut it off anyway. I'm telling you, this is nothing more than a cash grab for many of these people in these politicians. I kept telling myself I would not do videos talking about this thing. But when I saw this, I could not not talk about it because here you have this black man who was literally the only black man on that panel had to pause right quick but anyway yes this is a black man that is asserting his authority he's no he knows his position and he's for the people i'm not even gonna lie i would love to have a conversation with him to see where where his headspace is at on certain other issues and depending on what he would say he would get my vote because the way he just Put himself out there like that he probably knew he probably knows what's at risk here but he didn't care in that moment he was for the people like that was his bottom line we know what her bottom line was the person he was going at we know what his bottom line was see the thing is and also if you listen to the beginning you can tell that when he was asking see the thing is he was asking the proper questions to the person who cut off the utilities but the people that were sitting there, they weren't asking the right questions. They were prepared to let this man slide. But this guy right here, Omari Hardy, was like, no, I'm not about to let him just slide like that. I need to know the reasoning as to why he did that. And the people were prepared to pay. And you still cut it off anyway in the midst of a crisis. But see, they were not going to allow him to do that. And they, that's why they kept saying he was interrupting and that he was being disrespectful. You even heard her say it a couple times that he was being disrespectful and everything like that. Because in her eyes, he went into the big black boogeyman mode when he raised his voice at her. How dare you raise your how dare you as a black man raise your voice to me, a palm colored woman. But see, if we all look at the video, the other white men that were sitting there, the other palm colored men that were sitting there, they didn't say nothing to to uh to him and nothing to back her up. Even one of the guys in the videos had a look where he kind of pretended like he was asleep to pretend like he didn't hear anything. But the minute that the dust settled and the noise went down, he raised his head up like he just woke up from a nap. I'm telling you, it's all right there in the video. You can see it for yourself. But kudos to this man for standing up to those fools in that room, her and the other guy that was there, but specifically her and being, you know, being for the people because there's not a lot of polite. Or as I call it, it's a lot of politicians that are like that because we know for many of them, they are only there for the funds for the most part. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Twitter if you haven't done so already and have your notifications turned on. I will talk to you in the next one.